That's right, it's time for top 10 of the year. Woo, fun times. Steel already got his out, like, honestly, a month ago, and I'm really behind the game, so let's just get right into it. Top 10 of 2016. Boom. Coming in at number 10 is the critically bombed, beaten, battened Suicide Squad. I honestly really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was funny. Great characters, great direction. I honestly think it's one of DC's better movies. Definitely in the top five. And for this new DC universe, it's definitely my favorite movie of that. And my boy Batman makes an appearance. What can I say? I love me some Batman. Woo. Moving right along, coming in at number nine is War Dogs, Jonah Hill, Miles Teller. I don't even have to say anything else. That's it. Two great actors, one great film, great direction by the director, and it overall comes together for a great movie about business, the American dream, and deception. It's just, it's a really great movie that you should go out and see. Coming in at number eight is Edge of Tomorrow. No. No, Edge of Seventeen, shoot. Edge of Seventeen, it's honestly one of the movies I didn't expect to have on my list at all because I thought it would be a stupid team drama movie and it was, honestly wasn't. It turned out to be a really relatable and fun movie yeah, about drama, about teen life, and it, it all came back to me as really relatable and one of the better movies of the year. Actors did amazing, director did amazing. Definitely one of the more memorable movies of 2016. Coming in at number seven is going to be Star Wars Rogue One, a Star Wars story, the most recent addition to the Star Wars universe, and honestly, it was a really great film. The first half was super slow and honestly, kind of uninteresting, but I kind of enjoyed it, and the second half of the movie is basically all-out war, and that's what I came to see, and it delivered on every level in that second half. The first half, again, a little boring. Second half, honestly, one of the greatest halves of movie in cinema this year. If you want to see a good Star Wars movie, like the actual war part, nitty gritty and in the action, this is the movie for you. Great actors, not a lot of interesting characters, to be honest. The actors did good with what they were given. The director did amazing. And I'm excited to see what comes next in the Star Wars universe. Don't tell Steel I put this on my top 10. He doesn't like the movie. Coming in at number six is Captain America Civil War. This movie made me experience superheroes on a whole new level. I, going into the movie, I was sided with Captain America throughout the movie. If you didn't even flip-flop, I flip-flop. I was back and forth. Tony Stark, Captain America, who wins? Who, who's right here? And honestly, they're both right. I could see both sides of the argument and the movie did a great job doing this. This is no longer just a superhero kids movie. This is an intelligent movie. This is a thoughtful movie. This is honestly one of the best movies of the year, and that's why it makes my number six spot. Coming in at number five is The Nice Guys, one of the greatest comedies of 2016 noir film, and it's just a great movie overall. The two main leads in the movie really have a connection that I admire, and it's honestly really interesting throughout the whole movie great story, and honestly, I was on the ground laughing throughout the whole entire movie. I thought it was thoughtful, smart, intelligent, and that's why it made number five on my spot. Great direction. I'm excited to see what this person has next, and I'm honestly, I'm looking forward to a sequel to The Nice Guys. I They said they might not make it, but I really want a sequel. I'm looking forward to it. Coming in at number four, we have Hacksaw Ridge, Mel Gibson's directorial return, shall we say since his last movie, and he honestly went off the grid for a while there. Andrew Garfield does a great job playing Desmond Doss, a field medic in World War II, and it's it's honestly a very emotional movie, and it's action-packed. It's nitty, gritty, raw. If you like Saving Private Ryan, you're gonna like this. It's one of those movies that you're gonna go to, and you know, you're gonna have you know, a little America within you arise. I don't know what that was, but it, it's like America. Yeah. Yeah. Mel Gibson does a great job with this movie and the direction of this movie. Overall, it's just it's just a fun ride, honestly. It's just a great war movie and it's nitty gritty and it's the return of Mel Gibson. What's not to love? Number four, Hacksaw Ridge. Coming in at number three is 10 Cloverfield Lane, a movie that nobody saw coming because the trailers didn't even come out till like a month 
before it, the movie actually released. Nobody knew what this movie was going to be about. A Cloverfield sequel? Who knew? And who knew it would be this awesome and make it to number three on my list. The director did a great job. The actors, honestly, all of them deserve Oscars. Just give them. Just, just give it to them. Actors did a great job. Story was amazing. It kept me guessing on the edge of my seat the entire time. My theater was awing and gasping at what was going to happen next. And I was on the edge of my seat. Again, the entire time, it's one of those thriller movies that I can't tell you anything about until you go see it yourself. I mean, Ian, at number two, one of my favorite comedies ever, Deadpool. Ryan Reynolds has been waiting for this role for his entire career. Honestly, his entire career has been leading up to playing Deadpool. The director did an amazing job. I'm hearing controversy about Deadpool 2, which I'm hoping it's going to happen because it's one of my favorite movies almost ever made. Honestly, the marketing campaign for this movie was amazing, and it just had a fun atmosphere throughout the whole movie. I was on the ground in my theater laughing. The entire theater was just losing it throughout this entire film. It's amazing. It deserves all the awards it gets, and we need to see more films like this. It's an original funny, and the studio wasn't scared to take it to that R-rated level, which most superhero movies are, and props to them, honestly. Number two, Deadpool. So the time has arrived. Number one movie of 2016. A movie that Steele regards as trash. He does not like this movie at all. And this is one of those movies that's super controversial. It was controversial at Sundance Film Festival, and it's still controversial now. And it's honestly one of my favorite movies I have ever seen. This is one of those movies that you either love it or you hate it. There's no in-between. I have not felt more emotion in a movie than this. Swiss Army Man. Daniel Radcliffe did an amazing job playing a dead farting corpse. I honestly, no, I can't tell you anything about this movie. It's one of the greatest movies I have ever seen. It is so original and just so real than any movie I have ever seen. It's honestly one of my favorite movies of all time again. And don't watch the trailer. Don't read anything about it. You just got to see it. And if you if you don't like it, it's an hour and 30 minutes long. Not too much lost. But if you love it, you can come back and thank me. Because I honestly can't tell you anything about this movie other than it's amazing and you need to go watch it now. This is one of the most original movies I have ever seen. We need to see more like this. We can't be going out and to all the superhero movies every year. We gotta go to movies like this. This is an amazing movie that pulled at my heartstrings the entire time I was watching the movie. It's amazing, and you should go see it. I'm gonna go see it again. I've seen it like five times now, and it's honestly one of my favorite movies of all time, and that's why it makes my number one spot of 2016. That's it. 2016 is over, I'm done. As always, I haven't seen all the movies this year. I really wish I got to see out more. I am I'm, can't wait till next year. Can't wait till next year. Can't wait because I'm going to see as many movies as I can next year. Again, these are my opinions of the movies of my top 10 list. And that's why they're mine. And I want to hear yours. Comment below. Subscribe. Like. Share. And remember, steal the show.